Hello GH fans, we will update the news now. Spoilers General Hospital teased that maybe Peter was still alive and had been saved by someone. This will make Liz and Finn start to worry, obviously the writers of GH still don't want Wes Ramsey to leave GH. Peter August may indeed have been kidnapped and taken elsewhere to help him recover and recover from his fall. Earlier, Peter had some problems while flying and was unable to land, forcing the helicopter to fly many times in the sky to create the best possible conditions for Peter to land safely. Later, Dr. Hamilton Finn meets Peter on the terrace of the house. And the confrontation of the two happened right when meeting the bewildered and angry Finn looking for Peter to have an antidote for Harrison Chase. Peter is in a hurry to find Louise August because he knows there is a possibility that Maxie is lying about baby Louise's death. Anger will become ever more brutal if not vented between Finn and Peter. Then, things get worse, Peter tries to escape and head back downstairs to the hospital. Finn, before finding an antidote, grabbed him, suppressed his anger, and threw him down the stairs. Where Peter lay and blood began to flow from his head, and as Finn looked down in horror at what he had done, he couldn't believe his eyes as he did it in a fit of rage. Elizabeth Baldwin ran towards the stairs to find Peter. She found a pool of blood, and he lay there unconscious. She touches his neck and finds him dead, and Finn is also worried and scared as he tries to examine more closely to see if Peter is really dead. The pulse may still beat but is very weak and erratic and is sometimes considered dead or clinically dead. In fact, if a patient has a case like Peter's, he can still live, but the survival rate is very low. Elizabeth was more worried about Finn getting more desperate without an antidote. This will relate to Chase's life. She and Finn then discuss the disposal of the body. They thought about burying Peter, but the helicopter's propeller was still flying over the roof of the building. The sound of the engine still running indicated someone was piloting the helicopter and could keep an eye on what was going on as Finn and Liz surreptitiously hid Peter's body. Someone could follow Finn and Liz to where they hid Peter's body and take him away. Maybe things will turn out differently. Maybe the formation of a new person or a new crime freed Peter from death. It's also possible that this will be a new way of rebuilding Peter's personality so that Wes Ramsey is back to the way he was before and not another set of twins. However, this has yet to materialize, as Peter's mother Alex Devane Merrick is also a twin so she can tell the difference. Maybe Peter was actually kidnapped before he became so evil and the man presumed dead at the bottom of the stairs is another version of Peter. That means there are two Peters, one is real and the other is fake. Before that, Peter's father Cesar Faison made some lifelike masks for him to play Duke Lavery and Liesel Obricht impersonated Anna Devane. There are also a few other masks, one of Ned Quartermain's fathers, Lord Larry Ashton. First, maybe Peter, the guy who kidnapped Drew Kane and brought Afghanistan is not the real Peter. This is very similar to the reason Duke was kidnapped years ago and sentenced to prison, and an imposter, Jonathan Paget, came to town claiming to be Duke for plastic surgery. However, later, where Liesel used to work and where Robin Scorpio Drake was in a coma for a while. The real Duke showed up at the Swiss clinic Luke Spencer and Anna found the real Duke. This analogy has many points and is very similar to what might have happened to the real Peter, perhaps an old enemy of his father kidnapped him and sent an imposter? Either way, whether it's not the real Peter or he's been kidnapped by a helicopter pilot. That would allow Wes Ramsey to return at some point as Peter August. Thank you for watching the video. See you in the next videos.